What's up, everybody? I'm Dear Gamer. Welcome back to the channel today. Today, we're back in some more Dragon Dama 2, and I am going to show you what a max level thief looks like. If you didn't know, the max level for your vocation is going to be level 10 if you're new to the series. So, I'll show you the skills you can get. And also, too, outside of the main skills you get from just leveling up the vocation, you have the ability to find specific meisters in the game that would teach you new additional skills. And I have one of which I'm going to show you in this video and I'll show you where to get it as well. So my family, without further ado, let's dive in. So Thief, what is Thief about? What is the skills about? How do you play play style? How do you play? So you have two skills. You have your carve and you keep on hitting it with square. Then you have your twin fangs. Your twin fangs is good because it's a literally a critical strike, and I'll show you how I utilize it in my playstyle. You have dash, like most every other characters. Your R1 is gonna be a swift step. So Thief is one of the characters in the game that can actually dodge. So that's really cool to have to help you get out of situations quickly. So you're like safe. Also, too, you can attack. You can dodge into attack as well. So you can dodge into your attack also into square. And you can dodge into your triangle attack as well. So those are the basic skills for Thief. A Thief is going to be a light character in terms of your armor you're wearing. You can wear a little, you can wear a medium size. I wouldn't go too heavy. Now, right now I found this. I'll, I'll tell you what to find this armor as well. And the wolf hat, it looks so cool. So I had to keep it on. Cool thing about this game is you can upgrade your weapons and your armor as well at the, the, blacksmith in the weapon shop so sometimes you can find some armor and weapons and keep them longer than you normally would have and continue to use them during your playthrough when it comes to armor and builds with the as far as the customization with the weapon the armor i found that i haven't had too much trouble with the game all you have to worry about is just as you will continue to level up just continue to find better stuff and sometimes a lot of times the stores just sell better gear just buy the best and you can buy in the moment and also too i know in this game money is, is hard to come by so just buy the best things to currently buy in terms of like your equipment as well. Level them up. The first level in every single item is only going to take some money. And then level two, level three is going to take more resources in order for you to level them up. And you get those resources by fighting the monsters, which I'll show you in a second. But before we go on to any further, let's look at my skills and see what skills I'm currently rocking. So on my skills, I have triangle is going to be my skull splitter. This is going to be your bread and butter for taking down any kind of big monster, the ogres, the griffin, anything you're fighting. This is going to be the strongest attack that you have when fighting. I hear something about like in the old games, you can use this to break fall damage. I haven't tried it yet, but essentially that's what people were saying. I guess we can try it at some point. So that triangle is my skull split is a must have. Masterful kill. Masterful kill is a parry attack. So if the enemy attacks you in this moment, you slap, you go behind them and hit them with a parry attack, which is really cool. This next one, the square and triangle skill, they're kind of, they're kind of um elective. I would say you can pull whatever you want here. I have implicate this one as the one you have pulled the rope out, grab the enemy, pull them toward you, switch throws them on the ground. And at that point, you can hit a triangle to hit a critical attack on them and do some big damage. This skill is the one I found by going to a Meister. And essentially what it does, is that Griffin, where is it? Where'd it go? Essentially what it does is it creates a fire explosion with your blades, which is cool. But the downside to the skill is it also does fire damage to you. So I'll show you what I mean. So I'll hit that, boom, does big damage, but also to you do fire damage on yourself. So I kind of don't like that, which I think is kind of lame because I feel like Thief doesn't have necessarily super OP skills like some of the other classes have. And I thought that could have been an opportunity to give us a good one, throw us a bone. But I have it in my, in my set right now because I think it's cool. It does good damage. The other one you can use is the, I forgot what it's called. I'll go to, this, I'll go to the skill sets right now so you can see all the skills. The one where you're dashing back and forth. That one's cool, but it doesn't do that much damage. It just allows you to run around really fast. And I feel like it's not that useful. So let's go ahead and go back to the skills and show you what the vocation looks like and all the goodies. Well, look at this. We have a Griffin right here. Good opportunity for us to show you what that skill it's literally going to be your bread and butter. Get in the way. Boom. And just, if I go on top of it, that's cool. I might, I might have stamina. 
Okay. Get under <laughs> and just spam this, honestly. Watch your stamina. That's all you gotta worry about. Throw a couple of those out and you're kind of good to go. Since I'm fighting a stronger foe, I wouldn't use a blaze of prairie right now because it's going to do some pretty good damage on me as well. Oh, slow down. I'm on the wing. Cool thing about this one is if you're fighting it and it flies away, if you hold on to it, it'll go back to your its lair. Let's hold on, hold on. Ooh, down you go. Down you go. Now just go ham on the head. Will this reach? Oh my God. Jesus. I told you this is your bread and butter. I, I told you. It's a coming down. Okay, hit me for a big one. Yo. Come help me. There we go. Also, too, you might be wondering, I don't have any of the skills on me that kind of give me the fire element because I really have her. Where's he going? Oh, come on, come on. Damn it. It left to us. It was left to us nest. Is it coming back? No, it's not. So cool thing about this one, if I go to a camp and rest, it should have ambushed me. And that'll give me an opportunity to take it down completely. Oh, well, it's gone. Well, you got to see how good that skill is. It literally melted his face. Looks like it's going down over there. Let's go after it. Okay, so now that we're here, let me go over all the skills you can get as a thief through just leveling up your character all the way to max level 10 of vocation. So we have cutting wing. This is the one I was talking about where you kind of dash across the screen and it's cool as you level it up, the higher version of it allows you to go a little further and close the distance. For me, I like, I don't really like using too much. It makes you, if you're fighting more than one enemy, it makes you too squirmy. You're going from like left to right, left to right, fighting, hitting all the monsters rather than just focusing on one, taking that one out, then going to the next one. So I took that one off. Ignited Blade, this is the one that initially is good. It's good, but then party composition comes into play. I got rid of my fire elemental skill early on. The second I got a mage in my party that could imbue my weapons. So if you notice in that last fight, I had thunder and lightning on my weapon. Majority of the fight. And that's the cool thing about having a mage. I don't need to kind of have this skill as a way to slot. So have something else. Yeah, Shadow Cloak, which is cool. It allows you to have a little smoke screen on yourself. Enemies can't find you, but the problem is they see your party, then they're gonna fight you. I mean, that's where you can get quick backstabs if you wanna play a thief kind of route. That one's pretty cool. So like I said, you have your square and triangle are elected. You can put whatever you want. The must have a skill, skill splitter and masterful kill. Everything else kind of whatever you want. You can put that one on there. We showed about skill splitter. Power charge. This is where you can put explosives on the ground. And I feel like the playtime is just way too long for to activate that. I mean, it's cool, but for me, I feel like it's more gimmicky. Yeah, it's it's fine. I would I, I like I like just straight offensive skills when I'm using on my DPS. This one's interesting as well. You put that, you set explosive and you can blast away from it, and you have an opportunity to flinch a monster. When you level it up, you have a higher chance of flinching the monster and taking your step away from the enemy. Kind of helps you like dodge as well. But you have your R1 dodge, so I felt like it wasn't that necessary, that beneficial to me. This is the rope one, brings it up. You can level this one up and brings you. It pulls the monsters even further to you, closer to you. Also, too, as you see in the image in the middle, if a uh, ogre is about to tip over, you can run up to them and hit R2, and you'll like push your body against them to push them down. Or you can use your rope and like pull them out as well and have them trip just like that and give your team an opportunity and get some stack or damage on them. Smoke screen, as you can imagine, throw a smoke screen down. Enemies are confused for counterattacking. It's like. If you want to play stealth style, that's for you as well. This one, if you steal from your enemies, I was reading online from the Dragon Dama one. There were some unique things you can get by stealing from your enemies. For me, I'm not going to do too much focus on it. I'm really looking for doing the most damage as possible. But it's cool play style if you want to just mess around and see what kind of cool things you can do. There's a lot of options like that 
with this vocation. Next, gut and run. This one is specifically for your bigger monsters. You stab them, cruelly drawn back, and fear some powerful attack. You're going to do on a pin or down enemy. And I felt that I don't know. I feel like I've I've done fine with skull splitter on the big monsters like this. So I didn't necessarily feel like I needed to take up a slot a slot for it. But you can if you feel this is a good feel skill for you. Want to check it out? Yeah, absolutely, check it out. Masterful kill must have. This is the one like this. It, when you first level, you first get it. I forget what it's called, but you can parry on the ground. Masterful kill allows you to do the parry action in the air, just like that. And you go right behind the enemy, and boom, do some really good damage on them as also. Well. This one is the one that you don't get by leveling up. You actually get this one. Let me show you. Many thanks. You have to go to the nameless. The nameless town, and it is right over here. You go to the nameless town. You talk to the main chief. He's in the house like up here. And I, I don't know what the requirements are, but I think at this point, my thief vocation was level six or seven. And he talked to me. And he was like, hey, you're a pretty proficient thief. You might be able to learn my skill. Take my skill. And I was like, cool. <laughs> And that's how I got that skill. Also, the armor I'm currently wearing with the with the wolf head and everything. I also bought it here. This little guy here, the potion shop dude, sells armor and potions. So you get you got a lot of stuff good here for thief that I've been using through my playthrough in this earlier area. I don't think you necessarily need to wait till you get to the story portion to get here because when you first get there, they don't want to talk to you. They're more of like, hey, you don't belong here. So I ha I don't know if I, what happens if you go there prior to, and it's, this is it's east of this main city. I don't know if what happens if you go here prior to starting the quest line that happens in here that might that sends you here if you can get in. But hey, try it out. You might be able to get in there and get some goodies earlier on. But be mindful, everything is going to be super expensive. Okay, that is the skills. All the skills available to us. Next, let's look at the core skills. Core skills, Scarlet Kisses, allows you to keep on tapping square, spamming, you can hit harder. Controlled fall, when you fall down, you can hit X to get back up quicker. Bump and lift, what does it do? Automatically, has a chance to activate and cart in. Rob, rob, rob your enemies if you carve on them. So, just by attacking, you can steal some stuff, so that's cool. And foot pad. Kicking off walls allow users to launch themselves to a great distance. I feel like this one has got me killed a couple of times. I'm trying to climb just a random wall. So be careful when you're using it. Augments, you guys can see all the augmentations that are the class has available to you before you even upgrade the class in case you want to like plot out how you want to build your ultimate character. The ones I have equipped are just the last one. Augments your strength. It's interesting. I don't know what augments strength means, but augment my strength sounds cool. And I have uh, poison. Yet, consume, consume, reduce the stamina consumed when struggling in a foe's grip. Slightly reduces health when you deliver a kin of blow. This was cool. And I think that's the one I didn't equip. Decreased likelihood you being equipped, you being targeting, which is fine. If you look at all the other augments, they're all okay. Essentially, every class has one you want to take from them. So. Based on your playstyle, you kind of want to look at how that works for you. When it comes to equipment, just if you look at the element, if you look at your weapons, some weapons have elements or debilitations like sleep or knockout or fire. As you get later in the game, you might want to start looking at some builds you can do. You wait to utilize that, but for the most part, just going through the game, right? You'll be fine. Just buy the best weapon you can buy at the moment and just rock that. And as far as armor, I went with sometimes medium armor, so I have a little bit more protection. So. Those are some of the things I did, like this one. It has some pretty good subsets as well. And all that show you guys exactly where I bought all these things. Put a cape on. Some capes give you like slash resistance, magic, a little bit more elemental resistance. This one gave me slash and strike resistance, so I kept it on. And for my rings, I had I got these super early in the game. You get this from Melv. This one, you boost this this booster strength you get from Melv. I forgot where I got this one. But you guys know where Melvin is, one of the starting cities that you must go to. And there's going to be a guy with a backpack over there. I towards out here, this area. They didn't talk to him, buy it's like $5,000. And boost your, your strength a good amount. So I got a quest as I was leaving the city as I wanted to showcase you guys the weapon, the skills. 
And this is a good opportunity for us to right here. Come on, try to hit me, bro. Oh. <laughs> Bring him up. <laughs> and that's why you kind of want to use that skill. It's still good. Before we get here, I kind of want to show you guys what some of the skills look like. So, this one per se. I like it because you pull them towards you. And boom, gives you opportunity to hit a triangle. Sometimes instant kill. And oh, there it goes. I hit it. I got. I got. I hit it too early. And boom, just like that. That one's good, but you just got time in so you don't miss it like I did just right there. Ladies and gentlemen, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. Went over the thief, max vocation, the skills you can get. Also, too, where you can get some additional skills for your thief. If you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe. Give the video a thumbs up. If you learned something, until next time, dear gamers, signing out.